Yo, what's good? It's your boy Norman Rads. Welcome to the Norman Rads podcast. So we're gonna break down a lot of this UFO talk, a lot of these aerial phenomena or phenom UAPs. Guys, you gotta understand. I'm not saying that there aren't aliens. I'm not saying that UFOs don't exist. UFOs do exist. Things that you don't recognize from a very far distance is a UFO. Point blank period. It's an unidentified flying object. If it's in the air, you don't you can't so most planes are unidentified. Most most objects in the air you don't know what the hell it is anyway. So you don't need to just jump the bandwagon and say, oh, we found alien civilizations in the triangle form. First of all, if you know the propaganda and you know how they use propaganda back in the Cold War days and before and the Roswell accidents, they made the perception of a UFO to be a flying saucer. Because saucers was a very popular dish in the fifties. That was a very that was a that's a the jello molds. Those were very popular. Like bro, they're showing you kitchen appliances and telling you that there's UFOs in the air. You guys need to stop believing in everything, you know? Um the, the the amount of distance in between astrological bodies is immense. So you're not going to have a civilization traveling through the violent space, fabrics of space, and not making communication and trying to build with the civilization that they're encountering. It doesn't make sense. It's retarded. It's stupid. A lot of people want to use, well, do you look at ants? And do, that's different, bro. That's in our own ecosystem. Don't don't do that. I feel like a, a alien civilization. If they seen us, they will be proud of us. Yeah, it's a lot of war going on. So from outside looking in, and they not knowing that might be maybe not. But they be like, man, these little motherfuckers smart. These little motherfuckers got walk, shit flying all over the. Bro, anybody, I don't give a fuck. Any civilization in the universe will respect somebody who has the capability to leave the ground and go into to the space. I don't give a fuck. You know that that civilized... I don't give a fuck if you've been here a million years, bro. I don't give a fuck if you a million year civilization, type 3 civilization. Yo, you don't... You, you, Y'all been thriving for millions of years. Ain't nothing that you ain't never seen under the sun. If those people are... You are using their own telescopes observing the universe and they see earth they'll be like wow we have other beings in the in within this large universe that's also found a way to leave the planet they were i know they would respect that even if they was evil even if there was an evil civilization coming to, they would be like, hmm, all right, you little motherfuckers did good. I'm finna wipe all of you out. But you did pretty good. Like, you guys, you know, compared to our shit, you know, compared to our shit, you know, it's not. But y'all did pretty good. You got rockets and you got electricity and lights. You know how to harness atoms. You know how to split the atom. You know, you know what the nucleus is. You know what... You know what all of the fabrics of space, you know the fabrics of space, you know the ripples and the waves and, you know, stop it, bro. They would respect Albert Einstein's mathematical equations. They would respect that. They would respect Galileo. They would respect um, algebra. They would respect the Muslims who discovered algebra. They would respect, you feel me, these primitive civilizations if they are far beyond ours, even if they know how to harness gravity. And if you know how to harness gravity, you can you can you can block out 
you can block out the sun with your gravitational waves by all you like like again stop being duped by the public 